Hey guys, so I think today is 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 31st, the 2nd. I'm pretty sure today's day 7. Today will be day 7 of me taking the Maverick. I never know if I'm pronouncing it right, so whatever. Um, let's see. I only had one night or well day that it affected me and it made me really nauseous. It just felt like really bad burning in my stomach. And I think that's because I didn't eat with it when I took it the night before. So I take my medicine at 11 at night. I usually stay awake for about an hour or so after that. Um, do medicate with cannabis. And I didn't eat properly that night. So I ended up going to bed and I woke up the next morning. My stomach was on fire. So last night. Um, I ate. I had some apples, yogurt, grapes, and string cheese. I woke up and my stomach was fine. No pain this morning. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I've had a way better appetite for the last week. I've been a lot happier. Um, so I don't know if I'm sleeping through my side effects or maybe I don't have side effects yet. Maybe I won't have side effects. I'm not sure. The pills are so big. Like, ugh. I have to take a drink, swallow the pill. Take a drink, swallow the pill. Take a drink, swallow the pill. But, um, <clears throat> my family's being really supportive. All my friends. My girlfriend of five years, she does not have the hep C, which is very good. She was tested when I got diagnosed. And so after I have it not detectable, we're going to test her again and make sure she hasn't contracted it. I take little precautions like taking my razor out of the shower. I have a different colored toothbrush than her. Um, we use different tweezers, different fingernail clippers, or sanitize everything after we use them. Um... Simple things like that, you know, just trying, I just try to be safe, not only with my girlfriend, but at work. Like, if I were to get cut, <clears throat> immediately bleach, everything is what I do. Um, it's really, ah, it's really nerve-wracking just thinking that I could get somebody sick at any point, but it just comes with, I guess, the part of the feelings that you can't control, I don't know. This has been a, a long ride for me trying to get treatment. Took a year of me fighting, like I said in my last video, if this is the first video you saw. It took me a year to fight with insurance agencies. I tried to do patient prescription assistance through AbbVie. Um, you know, there was just a lot of fighting, having to call the doctor's offices, staying on their asses. You know, I waited nine months for a doctor's appointment. Um, <clears throat> with the liver doctor. So when I got there, he didn't have any of my labs. He didn't have any, anything. He didn't know anything. And he's just like, are you sure you have hep C? I'm like, what do you mean? You've had nine months to get everything together. Either that doctor's office should have emailed you some stuff, faxed, I don't know, or you should have requested some stuff. Either way, you kn had nine months to get my information. So, you know... <clears throat> Doctors aren't on top of everything. You got to stay on top of them. Um, he went out to the office right then and called the other doctors, had everything faxed, but that's not the point. So I just want to wish everybody, you know, happy vibes with treatment if you're going through it. <clears throat> if you're not on treatment yet, you know, stick with it. Don't give up. Um, here in California, they just recently passed a thing saying that you can get help even if you have no liver damage. Like me, I have zero liver damage. I have genotype 1, which I heard is the most resistant. But, um, yeah. So, thank you for following my story. I just wanted to say also thank you to the support groups that I have found on Facebook. Um, anytime I have a question, <clears throat> anytime, you know, I had a question about what to eat, um, side effects, things like that. Moral support, definitely um, Maverick support group, Hep C support groups on Facebook. It was really crazy. I couldn't find any of that before I started vlogging, and now I have found that stuff. So I'm really excited about that. 
there are groups out there. There are lots of people going through the same things. I was reading people's stories and it's unreal. Everybody, not everybody, a lot of people have had the same story as me. Fighting with prescriptions, uh, with pharmacies, with insurance agencies and such. So anyways, I have to get ready for work. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know how things are going. Everything's great. So see you in a week. Oh, this has been interesting.